What's up, guys? Kevin here. Wow. Neon Falcon just won E3. They did. They absolutely did. So this must be what it's like to be a Nintendo fan watching Nintendo's E3. And no matter what they do, they won because they show either a Zelda or a Mario game. <laughs> it don't matter about anything else. It's all about the games that you want to play. So for me, Neon Falcon 1E3, that was a great, that was just a great 40th anniversary stream. Um, usually I would get very, very angry about a musical performance. That was amazing. Just played a bunch of E songs. A lot of Trails songs. And man, those hit hard, dude. Those hit hard. That was so good. What's even better is the games. So I made a video, what, like yesterday I made a video about the leak. The leak is pretty dead on. Pretty dead on. Can be a little bit uh, disappointing, especially Neon Falcom. People probably wanted Tokyo Xanadu too. I still need to play the first one. I mean, most recent one. And, yeah, nothing... I mean, they showed a lot of love for ease in the songs and in the background, but no new games or ports, which... Eh, okay, I understand that. But we got the good games coming out west. Finally, Trails from Zero, the Crossbell duology... Uh, coming fall 2022, a little disappointing because it's so far out. Then again, I still got to beat Trails in the Sky 1, 2, and 3, so I'll give me plenty of time. Coming to all platforms, um, I, there's one platform that's missing. Phil Spencer, I don't know, if you're probably not going to watch this. Just reach out to Kondo, get these games on Game Pass, please, please. Let's write this man a check. Write this man a check. Um, Trails from Zero. Come in fall 2022. Then, didn't stop there. We got Trails to Azure. Come in 2023 to all platforms. I don't know if this means simultaneously. But my guess is probably PS4 first and then the others a few months later. Um... I think the Geofront is working with Nice America. Is that right? I kept seeing it in the chat. So shout out to them because they busted their ass on the port or uh, localizing, doing the translation mods for both these games, man. They deserve a lot of credit. And, you know, I waited for these games to come out west. So I don't want to figure out how to buy. Shout out to Super Derek. If you really want to play these games right now, Super Derek has a video on how to buy and download the mods for this. Check that out. Um, yeah. Come in 2023. Ugh. Then again, 2023 is only a year and a half away. It feels like it's two years away. It's a year and a half. It feels long, but, you know, got to be patient. And then, Nayuta Boundless Trails come in 2023. Again, to all platforms, not on Xbox. I don't know anything about this game, but from what I see, it looks good. Looks decent. So, I'm excited about that. Hey, anything Neon Falcon puts out, I'm playing it. I'm playing it. Oh, yeah, I, I can't forget one. One other thing. Uh, here we go. Boom. Trails into Reverie come in 2023 as well. 2023 is packed. <laughs> that is a packed year. What? Trails to Azure, Nayuta, and Trails into Reverie. I'm excited for that. Coming to all platforms. So, it's, it'll be interesting because of Switch. You would think by then, 2023... Switch would be, what, six years? So that's got to at least be at its end life, or we may even be on the next Switch. So hopefully there's some backwards compatibility with that. We know PS4 games are going to work on PS5. Um, and then PC. Now, keep in mind, I, 
I heard that the crossbow games on PS4 in Japan, they weren't so great. So maybe you want to get that on PC. But I think those games would probably be perfect handheld on Switch. Um, but Trails into Reverie or Hajimari no Kiseki. Um, yeah, 2023. It just feels so far away until we get our next like Trails game. It felt like 2019 up until now, just Cold Steel 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just boom, 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 boom. But, yeah, we got to take a little bit of a break, which is good. Um, but I- I'm excited. Again, a little disappointed when I see, like, any Ease games, like older Ease games brought forward. Um, again, those are on PC as well, too. So it's not like they're not here. But uh, it would be nice to get those on consoles. I hate gaming on PC myself. But, Yeah. Trails into Reverie. Trails to Zero. Trails to Azor. Nayuta. Trails of Beginnings. Or whatever it was called. I don't even remember what it was called. <laughs> that game. We got one, two, what, four games? I'm pretty happy about that. I can't complain. Of course I want more. I absolutely wanted Trails in the Sky. Um, first chapter, second chapter, and the third, but can't always get what you want but they are available to play on pc you know who knows maybe they're working on that and they're gonna do you know a surprise drop but very cool i mean kiro no kiseki now we gotta talk about that if we know they (laughs) kondo or neon falcon they always put games out out of order at least on other platforms like trails Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 is on Twitch, but not 1 and 2. I know that's like an X-Seed issue, but, you know, maybe we'll get Kiro no Kiseki bef- sometime beforehand in the next year or so. But, you know, I I don't expect that game to come out until 2024, which, man, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But let's end it on a good note. I'm very happy. I stayed up to watch, and it was amazing. Like, go back and watch it. Just great music, great announcements, and a great t-shirt. I want that t-shirt. Anyways, um, that's it. This is, the, this is a game series that just really makes me happy. This is a game series I watch anyone else play. I go, now I want to play a Neon Falcon game, like, right now. I want to drop everything I'm doing and play a Trails game, play an Ease game. I may just do that now because I can't go to bed. All right, I'm done. I'll talk to you later. Later.